Okay, green butterflies, here we are on lesson 10.5. Represent and interpret data is the standard we're working on. Reading tally charts. How do you count the tallies on a tally chart? Now, tallies, you'll remember, are like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every fifth one we make as a cross. That makes it easier to count. Instead of having to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, when we're recounting what we've made, we can just count five, ten, fifteen, and then count on sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You don't have to draw that. Now, we're going to sort. Well, let's see what the problem says. Jane is sorting her crayons. Draw to show how she can sort the crayons into two groups. How are the crayons different from each other and like each other? The most obvious answer, of course, is that there are red crayons and yellow crayons. But what's another way that some are alike and different? That's right. We have long crayons and short crayons. Now, we could do it. We could sort them either way. If you want to sort them by long and short, you can. Or you can short them, sort them by red and yellow. I'm going to sort them by red and yellow. Okay? You can decide how you want to do it. Either way, you'll need to make sure that you make your labels either red and yellow, whoops, that was a sloppy W, or long and short and neatly sort them. If you did long and short, you would, you could count them, you could use these to represent them, or you could just mark them off one at a time, or you could just count, but that might be kind of hard. Well, we could do it. Let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and do something similar for the short. Or you could do them each individually like this. One, two, and so on. You decide and go ahead and do your sorting. To the next page. Model and draw. Do more children like Pete's chicken or pizza better? And let's look. There are how many tallies for chicken? Three. So they wrote a three. We can trace it. How many tallies for pizza? Well, this is five. Next comes six, seven, eight. Each line is a tally mark. It stands for one child. A set of tallies stands for five children. More people like what? Pizza. Okay, let's look at this tally chart. Complete the tally chart. So we need to fill in the number that each set of tallies re represents. Let's look. For boys, there's a set which is five and then we can count on six, seven, eight, nine. Or some of you might just go, okay, that's five. I know that's four. Five and four is nine. Either way works. Okay, girls, five and one is six. Nine boys, six girls in the class. Boys and girls in our class is the title of that chart. How many girls are in the class? Go ahead and write your answer. How many boys are in the class? Write your answer. How many children are in the class in all? Now you could add, or you could go like this, five, 10, and then you have a couple of options. You could count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or you could go, you know what? I could pick that up and move it right up here and cross, and that would make another five, so I could just count five, 10, 15. Either way, we wind up with 15. Are there more boys or girls in the class? There are more 
go ahead and write your answer and then go on to the next page which works very much the same way.